Hello friends, let us see a new problem. Suppose there are three typists in an office. It means three people are going to type the document. So it can be predicted as what? Multi server my s equal to 3. Let us read the question. Each typist can type an average of 6 letters per hour. If the letters arrive to be typed as 15 letters per hour. So both are per hour. They can type 6 letters per hour. That means mu is equal to 6 per hour. But every hour they get 15 letters. So lambda is equal to 15 per hour. So lambda and mu are identified. Three typists are there. That means it is going to be a multi-server. So I will directly go into the in all our problems. Arrival rate is poison. Service rate is exponential. Here number of typists are three. So service channels is three. And then they never speak about the Number of arrivals of letters. Okay. How many letters should be filled in the table or nothing is given. So the capacity is infinite. And first in first out that is common. So the queuing model is going to be m slash m slash s infinity FIFO. So here my s value is 3 typist. So I am going to write it as 3. And lambda is directly given 15 per hour. Mu is directly given service rate 6 per hour. So let us find rho. Rho is lambda by mu s because it is multi-server problem. So it is going to be 15 into 6 into 3. When rho s is going to be simply 15 by 6. It can be simplified into 5 by 2. Similarly, rho can be simplified into 5 by 6. So rho is 5 by 6 and rho s is going to be 5 by 2. So getting this data we are going to solve the problem. First as I said whatever you do we have to write P0. From the P0 only we are going to find all the data. So either you can use this formula or the formula which we use. n equal to 0 to s minus 1 1 by n factorial rho s all power n here rho s all power s divided by s factorial into 1 minus s is going to be 3 I am going to get the values of n as 0 1 2 because n minus 1 is going to do 3 minus 1 that is 2 so you are going to substitute all the 3 values for this alone not the whole term only for this term alone and then add it with this term we will be getting the answer for p0 now substituting the value of n, we will be getting first term 1, second term 5 by 2, third term 1 by 2 into 5 by 2 whole square. Then next we are going to add this and rho s is going to be 5 by 2 whole cube divided by 1 minus rho is 5 by 6 and then we are going to have the factorial value is 6. That is s factorial is 3 factorial, it is going to be 6. When we simplify this, use your calculator, we are going to get the value 0 0.0449. So now we get P0. One by one we are going to solve the remaining data which is asked in the question. The next question asked is, fraction of time all the typists will be busy. When all the typists will be busy, if three typists are there, each are getting one document. Then they will be busy in typing their document. If the fourth document arrives to the table, it have to wait. So that means typist will be busy when they have three or more documents. So we know the formula from the previous videos. We are going to solve the problem directly. So it is going to be rho s yes, whole power s yes, capital P naught divided by s factorial into 1 minus rho. So by substituting the value rho s is going to be 5 by 2 whole cube 0 0.0449 divided by 3 factorial into 1 minus 0 0.0449. So now simplifying this we will be getting approximately 0 0.70 one six. So that is going to be the probability for all the typists will be busy. The next question asked to us average number of letters waiting. So when it waiting and then it is typed it is going to be ls. It is simply waiting. So it is going to be lq. So we know the formula for lq. It is going to be rho into s whole power s plus 1 capital P naught divided by 
s into s factorial 1 minus rho whole square so now substituting the corresponding values we can find the solution by substituting and simplifying we get the following value for l cube 3.5108 so when we round off it is going to be 4 the next question asked to us is what is the probability of only one letter in the system that means it is going to be capital p1 do you remember guys we have the formula for pn it is splitted into two the first one is going to be rho n into capital p naught divided by n factorial when n is less than s the second one is rho power n into capital p naught divided by s factorial into s power n minus s when n is greater than or equal to s so now here my n that is only one here n is equal to one but s equal to three so therefore n is less than s i am going to use the formula rho power n p naught divided by n factorial so that's why it is given here you can see so when you substitute and when you simplify you will be getting the answer 0 0.1123 the next question is average time of a letter spends in the system that means ws waiting time in the system it is going to be simply wq plus 1 by mu now when we substitute this you will be getting the answer immediately so ws waiting time in the system is 0 0.400067 since we know wq is equal to lq by lambda we already found lq that's why we use this formula here to simplify the answer quickly the next question is what is the probability that a letter will take longer than 20 minutes waiting to be typed in the system listen guys this formula I left in the basic video because it is little big so I am writing it specially here. So this is the waiting time of the letter more than t minutes in general. Here t is going to be 20 and we know mu, lambda etc every value substitute here and we are going to find. Since we are doing everything in terms of hour so 20 minutes I am going to convert into hour that is going to be 1 by 3 so now my t is equal to 1 by 3 once you substitute in this formula or you can convert this formula into rho that's not a big deal you solve you substitute it and then you will be getting the answer for it by simplifying the data in your calculator you will be getting the solution waiting time exceeds one third hour that is waiting time exits 20 minutes is going to be 0 0.4616 thanks for watching the video and giving a big support students see you in the next video bye bye